Okay, so this is uh, lecture number 22nd. This is the sixth lecture in uh, module uh, three of control system fast track. So today is 13th of September 2021. Uh, yesterday we had seen uh, in extra lecture that is what is steady state error calculation and uh, what are the different uh, formulas for error. So there we had found out error in Laplace domain ES that was equal to RS divided by 1 plus GSHS. GSHS is called as an open loop uh, transfer function and RS is called as a uh, command input. So if the input is UT, that means we substitute RS as 1 by S. If input is ramp, ramp input is given by T. Uh, in that case, uh, RS will be 1 by S square. And if input is parabolic, in that case, RS will be 1 by S cube. And yesterday also we had seen uh, how to find out the type of the system and how to find the order of the system. So type is actually found from the GSHS, whatever forward path gain and feedback gain uh, which is given. If feedback gain is uh, not mentioned, generally we are supposed to take the uh, unity feedback system that is H is equal to 1. So we have to multiply GS and HS and we have to check in the denominator how many separate S term is there. Okay, suppose uh, GSHS denominator is S into S plus 3. And that means that there is a pole at origin, open loop pole, and there is another pole at minus 3. We have to check in GSHS uh, equation how many poles are there which are there at the origin, open loop poles. That is equal to the type of the system. And uh, whenever we are finding GS by 1 plus GSHS, that is a closed loop transfer function, in that case, the denominator equal to 0. So denominator is a polynomial that equal to 0 is called as a uh, characteristic equation. And roots of the characteristic equation are actually called as pole of the system. If the system is supposed to be stable, then all the poles of the closed loop transfer function has to lie in the left hand side of S plane. We have also seen uh, two cases that is, uh, how does the steady state error look like? So, if I am giving input as uh, one volt or unit step, uh, and after that, we are finding that uh, RL, uh, sorry, RC circuit or RLC circuit, the output is uh, touching uh, the one volt after T uh, is very high. That means initially the voltage starts building up. After certain time, the voltage touches the input. Uh, that means input is equal to output. That means steady state error is equal to C. So there are two things. One is called a steady state and what is meant by error. So steady state means T value very high. Ideally, mathematically speaking, uh, at t is equal to infinity, we are supposed to find how much is the difference between input and output. So difference between input and output is called as an error. Generally, for unit step input, input is 1. Suppose if I say 2 into unit step, input is 2. And uh, we have to see uh, at steady state, that is t very high, t almost turns to infinity. Uh, where is the output getting stable? So difference between input and that stable output at steady state is called as a steady state error. So today, uh, I'm going to launch some more uh, documents that is handwritten and we are going to see exactly how does the steady state error look like. So for our system, how does the steady state error look like? Uh, those are the things we are going to check now. So uh, there are different methods and uh, there is actually method one, method two and all the methods I'm going to explain to you. So let us see. Uh, some of the uh, fundamentals will be repeated, but never mind. Uh, we are going to see. Uh, the first two methods of finding what is called as the steady state error. Uh, I guess my document is visible to you. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, there will be repetition of a uh, few things. So this is a so this is a first block diagram of closed loop system. This is a six page document. I will try to explain all this uh, to you, and uh, you will be finding that many of the things are already explained to you. So RS, BS, GS, HS, all these things we know. And what will be given? So in this kind of numerical, that is where I'm asking you to find out steady state error. Given will be GS and HS. And sometimes HS also will not be given. So only GS will be given. GS is called as a forward path gain. So GS might be given as 1 by S plus 1 or S by S plus 3, that kind of thing. HS if not given, uh, you can take HS equal to 1. Feedback is general negative feedback. So from the open loop forward gain and open loop uh, gain, that is open loop forward gain is GS and open loop gain or open loop transfer function is called as GSHS. From that, you are supposed to predict uh, what will be the system output when the system is in closed loop for a certain kind of input. So input can be three types mainly. Input can be step, input can be ramp, and input can be 
parabolic. So this is the overall uh, problem. What is the problem? I'll tell you once again. So given will be GS or GSHS, that is open loop transfer function. From there, you are supposed to predict what is going to be the system steady state error uh, if the uh, GS and HS is forming a closed loop system. Okay, so error we are finding for the output, system output. System output is given by CT. Okay, so what is the step? GSHS is given, uh, GS and HS is given separately. So from there, we are supposed to find CS by RS. So GSHS is an open loop transfer function. CS by RS is a closed loop transfer function. From there, we are supposed to find out CS is equal to RS into transfer function. Then you substitute the type of input for which you want to find steady state error. If input is steady state uh, unit step, then RS will be 1 by S. Input is ramp, then RS will be 1 by S square. Input is parabolic, RS will be 1 by S cube. So you are finding actually CS. You are finding CS is equal to RS. Uh, it depends on the type multiplied by the transfer function. Then you find CT. So whenever we are finding uh, CS uh, in Laplace domain, we have to take inverse Laplace transform. So we are finding CT. So CT at T is equal to infinity. This is actually the steady state output value. CT at T is equal to infinity. So input minus CT at T is equal to infinity. That is the steady state error. A pura process. Again, I'm going to repeat for the second time. Please understand what I'm telling. So it's given will be GS. Uh, then uh, from GS, you are supposed to find out. So as I have written here, so given will be GS. From there, you are supposed to find TS. So TS is GS divided by 1 plus GSHS. And uh, this is also called a CLT, if it is closed loop transfer function. That is also called a CS by RS. So CS by RS equal to GS by 1 plus GSHS. Only given will be GS. And HS also will be given. If HS is not given, take HS equal to 1. So CS by RS is equal to GS by 1 plus GSHS. From there, find what is CS. So CS is equal to RS into GS divided by 1 plus GSHS. Substitute the value of RS. Substitute the value of GS and HS. So what you will be finding is what is the equation of CS. From there, find equation of CT by inverse Laplace transform. And after finding CT, you are supposed to find out what is CT at T tends to infinity. That means at steady state, how much is the system output. So input minus uh, system output at steady state, that is going to give us the steady state error. So here we have found out the same formula we have found yesterday, that is ES, that is error in Laplace domain. This is not steady state. Steady state we have to find. So ES is the generalized error equation that is equal to RS. I told you RS can be three times one by S for unit step, one by S square for ramp and one by S cube for parabolic input. So ES is equal to RS divided by 1 plus GSHS. And uh, from there, you are supposed to find out steady state error. So what was the formula here started from final value theorem? We found that formula was limit S tends to 0, S into ES. So actually, you are finding the error in CT. Uh, or actually, you are finding out limit T tends to infinity of ET. OK, so how much is error at T tends to infinity? Error is nothing but difference between input minus output. So input is stable. If I say it's a unit step input, uh, input is one volt from at t is equal to zero, at t is equal to infinity. So main job is to find what is CT at t is equal to infinity. So input at t is equal to infinity, that is steady state, minus output at t is equal to infinity, that gives us a error at uh, t tends to infinity. So either you can find out in Laplace domain, that is name is S tends to zero, S into yes, or you can find out its time domain, that is limit S tends to infinity, E of t. So all the things we had uh, seen yesterday and all these things are discussed here. Now, uh, input can be step, ramp, and parabolic. So if it is step, it is UT. If it is ramp, it is T into UT. So T is actually the input and UT stands for causality. So T UT means it starts at T is equal to zero and goes up to T is equal to infinite. So multiplying UT with some function ensures the causality. And a very important thing, parabolic input, it is not T square. Parabolic input is given by t square by 2. Okay, so t square by 2, what is the Laplace transform of that? It is 1 by s cube. If I give you uh, 5 t square by 2, then it will be 5 by s cube. Okay, so there is a trick in uh, processing of parabolic signal that I will tell you uh, in the numeric. So this ES, so whatever ES is there, RS by 1 plus GSHS. After finding ES, what you have to do is multiply S with that. And we have to take limit S tends to 0. So limit S tends to 0, S into ES. That is actually the formula for steady state error in Laplace domain.
Okay, so this is uh, the preliminary thing. Now uh, there are uh, questions uh, that will be asked. So this uh, document I will upload to you. So this is the first method of finding uh, steady state error. Uh, so this numerical you can do. So I will tell you actually three methods of finding uh, steady state error, but follow the second method only. Second method is the easiest method. But nevertheless, I will be giving you all the three methods. By any method, you can find uh, what is the steady state error. So again, the same thing is given here. Uh, this numerical also I had given you previously. So GS is 1 by S plus 1, H is equal to 2. So find what is GSHS. And then uh, method 1, finding out the system steady state error. So what is the steady state error? ES is equal to RS divided by 1 plus GSHS. So RS you substitute, RS is equal to 1 by S. So for finding steady state error, one thing, uh, two things are very important. One is what is the type of the input? And second is what is GS? Okay, and all, what is HS also? But HS is not given, you can take H is equal to one. So three things should be given if you want to find a uh, steady state error by this first method. So this first method, second method, third method, it is all defined by me. Okay, it is not defined in book. So any methods you can uh, find. Directly you can find out ET or you can find out CT. So CT is the output. Uh, and you know what is the input at t tends to infinity. So input minus output, this is the way you can find out what is the steady state error. Or directly you can find out ET as at t tends to infinity. So both the way you should find get the same answer. So these are the two different methods. Any method that suits you, you can find out. Okay, so what is ES? So ES I'm finding means I'm actually finding by Laplace domain. So ES is equal to RS by one plus GSHS. Now in this case, GSH is equal to two by S plus one because H is given as two and GS is given as one by S plus one. So GSH is two by S plus one. So in this case, uh, RS is one by S and one plus uh, two by S plus one. If you're just solving it, you're finding one by three S plus two by three into S plus three. So in that case, inverse Laplace ES is equal to one by three plus two by three raised to minus three T U T. This is the equation of error. And in this equation, substitute T tends to infinity. What you will find is the second part will become zero and the steady state error value will be one by three. Exactly the same numerical we had seen yesterday. And uh, we can show this numerical by a graphical method. So at T is equal to zero, it is one by three plus two by three into raised to zero. That means error will be one by three plus two by three is equal to one. And as time is uh, increasing, you are finding that the transient part of the error is reducing. So at t tends to infinity, that 2 by 3 into e to minus 3t, it becomes actually 0. So steady state remains, error remains as 1 by 3. So this is what it is saying. When the t tends to infinity, the error has uh, reached steady state. Uh, here, at t is equal to infinity, et is equal to 1 by 3. That means the steady state error of the closed loop system. So from the open loop transfer function, we are predicting what is going to be the steady state error of the closed loop system. So that is equal to one by three. So error is a function of time, very important thing. Uh, at t is equal to zero, the system error is equal to one because the system error equation is one by three plus two by three into e to minus three t. So initially uh, at t is equal to zero, the error will be one by three plus two by three, that is equal to one. And as t is increasing at the time, the two by three e to minus three t part, it is becoming zero. So at t tends to infinity, you are going to find that error is equal to one by three. So some explanation is given here, you can check. So this is the first method. What is the first method? You are finding ES, you are finding ES is equal to uh, uh, G RS divided by one plus GSHS. So this is the formula or this is the first method. ES is equal to RS divided by one plus GSHS. And from there you are finding what is ES equation. From there you are finding what is ET equation. And in that ET, you are substituting T tends to infinity. There you are finding actually directly the value of error ET at T tends to infinity. And for this numerical, ET at T tends to infinity is equal to one by three. Okay, so yesterday we had done this numerical. Uh, there is nothing new. Uh, same thing you can find for uh, ramp mm -hmm. input also. So first numerical was for step input, uh, how much was the steady state error? And we found that the error is finite. This is a very important concept. Now I'm coming because from this error concept, we can also find what is the concept of stability. So in this case, we are finding that error is finite. Input is one, that is the inner step, and error is one by three. That means output is getting saturated at amplitude two by three. In this case, let us see what happens. Uh, same input, or uh, sorry, same system, but input is different. So same system is GSHS equal to uh, two by S plus one. 
Okay, this is what is shown above. So H is equal to two and G is equal to one by S plus one. So G S H is equal to three by S plus one. E S is equal to input divided by one plus G S H S. Now the input has changed because now the input I am giving as ramp. Ramp means T into U T, and Laplace of that is one by S square. Okay, so now the E S equation will change. So previously it was one by S into one plus two by S plus one. Now it will become one by S square. Because input given to uh, this system now is uh, not unit step but ramp. That's why this is one by s square into or uh, divided by one plus two by s plus one. Now, if uh, I'm just uh, separating it out, it is becoming one by s square s plus one by s plus three. So denominator is s plus one, uh, and that will go above. So numerator will become s plus one, and it will become s plus three. Now you do the partial fraction, and you are going to find uh, the inverse Laplace transform is going to be. T by three plus two by nine minus two by nine into e raised to minus three. Uh, sir, could you briefly explain the partial fraction method, sir? Once partial fraction is a different lecture itself. Uh, I can uh, send you a document of partial fraction, and you can uh, find out everything about partial fraction in that. So three four numericals I take, and you will be able to understand. In this case, whatever if I am finding s plus one by s plus three. Okay, so previous case, uh, so it goes case by case basis. I just tell you. So first, you are supposed to check how many roots are there in the uh, denominator. So here, here you are finding it one by s into s plus one by s plus three, right? Is it visible? Yes, sir. S plus one by s into s plus three. So denominator is having two poles. Is it understandable? Where are the denominator poles? One is s is equal to zero, another is s is equal to minus three. Understandable? Yes, sir. So it will be a divided by s plus b divided by s plus three. Is it understandable? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, how to find the value of a? So it is a divided by s plus b divided by s plus three. Now you are supposed to find out the value of a and b. Okay, so a divided by s plus b divided by s plus three. Now this is the whole function s plus one by s into s plus three. How can you find the value of a? In this whole function, you are supposed to substitute s is equal to zero. Why? Because you are finding what is there above s. S means s is equal to zero. S plus three means s is equal to minus three. Understandable? Yes, sir. S is s means s is equal to zero. S plus three means s is equal to minus three. So whenever you are trying to find a. In that case, in this whole whole uh, this thing, you are supposed to substitute s is equal to uh, uh, s is equal to uh, zero. So in the whole thing, whole thing means one by s. No, let me ask. Okay, you are not supposed to take one by s. Only thing is you have to take s plus one by s and substitute s is equal to. Sorry, sorry. In that case, you have to take s plus one by s plus three and substitute s is equal to zero. So in that case, you are going to take. Uh, s is equal to zero plus one. S plus one is equal. so one by three. It will be there. समझ में आया? मुझे नहीं लगता है समझ में. Okay. So whenever you are trying trying to find a, okay, a by s plus b by s plus three. This is the first step. Find a. So a is equal to a s निकाल देना है तभी. लेना नहीं है. Okay. Only you have to take s plus one by s plus three. And as you are trying to find out for s, substitute s is equal to zero in s plus one by s plus three. तभी ये पूरा नहीं लेना है वन बाय एस नहीं लेना है बिकॉज यू आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज देयर अबव एस ओके तो इफ यू आर सब्सिट्यूटिंग एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन इट विल बिकम वन बाय थ्री हाउ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ बी बी कैसे फाइंड करोगे इट विल बी एस प्लस वन बाय एस समझ में आ रहा है यस सर बी इज इक्वल टू एस प्लस वन बाय एस बिकॉज बी किसके ऊपर है एस प्लस थ्री के ऊपर है दैट मीन्स वॉट विल बी द सब्सिट्यूशन एस इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री And in which function will you substitute that s is equal to minus three? That is s plus one by s. तब ये s plus three नहीं लेना है. So s plus one by s and substitute s is equal to minus three there. That means numerator will be minus three plus one and denominator will be minus three. That means it will be two by three. समझ में आया? Yes sir. ठीक है ये मैं तुमको एक डॉक्यूमेंट भेजता हूँ देर आर लॉट ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल्स और इफ यू गूगल यू ऑल्सो फाइंड इट बट आई एम हैविंग अ वेरी गुड न्यूमेरिकल सॉरी डॉक्यूमेंट आई विल सेंड इट टू यू एंड देर आर मेनी केसेस सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन बाय एस स्क्वायर एस प्लस वन एंड एस प्लस थ्री हाउ मेनी पोल्स आर पॉसिबल कैन यू टेल मी इट विल बी ए बाई एस स्क्वायर प्लस बी बाई एस प्लस सी बाई एस प्लस थ्री अंडरस्टैंडेबल 
okay one by s square into something by s plus three so there are three roots there are three roots which are possible one is s is equal to minus three another is one by s square another will be one by s so it will be a by s square it's a standard humko dekhte samajh samajh mein aata hai so one by s square plus b by s plus c by s plus three in that case again you have to go the same way and you will be able to find this okay so i will be sending you a document uh, and we are doing it by using matlab so in matlab actually uh, if you are inputting the value of s if you input the transfer function directly it will be uh, giving you what is the inverse laplace transform okay so in that case it saves you uh, the partial fraction but yes in the exam you have to do partial fraction so wait for my document you just uh, message me in the evening sir you told me that you would send some documents i will send you that okay so around 6 to 7 types are there wo kar lo to samajh mein aa jata hai partial fraction is not difficult ha you don't know it uh, there is no formal uh, education about partial fraction it is difficult so i will send you that document chalo so 1 by s square into s plus 1 by s plus 3 if you are doing the partial fraction and if you are taking the inverse that plus it comes to be t by 3 plus 2 by 9 minus 2 by 9 into e raised to minus 3. Now this is a very important numerical. That is, this is uh, what is the type of the system? Can you tell me? GSH is there. Can you tell me what is the type of the system? Zero. Type zero system. So type zero system with unit step input. We got a finite error. Have you understood me? Are I? First case. Type zero system with step input. So first, in whatever output we got, we are finding a finite error. Finite error means. the uh, output is not diverging but in this case just check tell me what will be this es what will be this error okay so 2 by 9 2 by 9 is a constant error 2 by 9 nearest to minus 3t this error reduces with respect to time so this will be a parabolic graph as t tends to increasing uh, this 2 by 9 nearest to minus 3t it will come to zero 2 uh, by 9 is also a constant but this factor you ye dekho t by 3 Whether it's a constant part or it is uh, in increasing with respect to time. T by three in increasing with respect to time. That means in this case, if you are talking about a type zero system and if you are giving a unit uh, sorry uh, a ramp input, you will be finding that error will keep on increasing with time. That is a very important thing. That means uh, as uh, input is increasing and error difference. That means difference between input and output. I I saw the case. I saw. I will show you one document maybe tomorrow. So this is the input. This is the input and this is the output. So as time is going by, you are finding excesses this time. The input and output they are diverging. That means as time is increasing, the error also will keep on increasing. So this is called as an infinite error. So this is I'm I have shown here like this. So at t is equal to zero. So t is equal to zero. So this is E S. Okay, E S. Ah, uh, no, actually, this is E T equation. So E T is the take inverse Laplace transform of E S, and you are finding that error is diverging. Yes, समझ में आया? Why am I calling error is diverging? Yes, sir. Why am I calling calling error diverging? Because error is increasing with respect to time. Previous case, when it was step input, the error was constant with respect to time. Okay, sometimes the error will reduce with respect to time, but in this case, there are three parts in the error. In the part of ET, there are three parts. One is a constant part, one is a reducing part, which is called as converging, another is a diverging part. So, which will become prevalent is the diverging part. So, as T is increasing, we will be finding that the error will keep on becoming uh, divergent. That means, as uh, T is increasing, error will become infinite. अब ये देखो, T is equal to zero. Okay. The first part is zero, second part is two by nine, third part is minus two by nine. So error is equal to zero. At t is equal to zero. At t is equal to one, error becomes point five four. At t is equal to hundred, error becomes thirty three point five five. As error uh, at time tends to infinity, the first term, first term becomes infinity. So what will be the steady state error? Steady state error will become infinity because infinity means uh, time t is equal to infinity means that is the steady state. so do cheez likh ke rakho first case it's a uh, type zero system and unit step input uh, the error is finite 1 by 3 i had shown you okay so instead of unit step if you give 2 into unit step the error will be 2 by 3 if you give 10 into unit step the error will be 10 by 3 okay but then also it is finite 10 by 3 is also finite okay so as you are increasing the value of the input the error amplitude will increase but error will not become infinite with respect to time second case this is the type zero system and you are giving a 
ramp input what you are finding is the error is becoming divergent that means as time is increasing the error is also increasing so this is a very uh, important case and third case uh, whenever i am giving a parabolic input so parabolic input is called as t square by 2 t square by 2 is having a uh, laplace transform of 1 by s cube so i am now giving parabolic input okay so t square by 2 is having amplitude of 1 by s cube so this is called as a unit parabolic input unit step input is given by ut unit ramp input is given by tut input uh, uh, unit parabolic input is given by t square by 2 into ut and uh, laplace transform that is 1 by s cube so in the same equation es 1 by s cube substitute 1 by s cube s plus 1 s plus 3 iska laplace nikaloge to kya kya term aayega a by s cube plus b by s square plus c by s plus d by s plus 3 now if you are taking the inverse laplace transform you are going to get four terms 2t by 9 2 by 27 e raised to minus 3t 1 by 60 square and minus 2 by 27 in that case 2 by 27 is a constant term 2 by 27 nearest to minus 3t. This is reducing with respect to time, but 2t by 9 and 1 by 60 square they are the divergent term. अब ये समझ में आया? Why is it called as divergent? Because as time is increasing, 2t by 9 and t square by 6. This is two terms will keep on increasing. Uh, 2 by 27 nearest to minus 3t. Is it understandable? Why is it called as converging term? Yes, sir. Because as t is increasing, 2 by 27 nearest to minus 3, this will reduce. That means error is having four terms. One is a constant error, one is a reducing error, and two are increasing error. In that, t square by 6 will be heavily increasing because it's a square of time, and 2t by 9 is increasing slowly. But nevertheless, this t square by 6 and 2t by 9 will make the uh, steady state error diverge. Okay. So what you are finding is in this case also at t tends to infinity, you will find that t t will become infinity. So for type zero system, I am asking you type zero system. If I am giving unit step input, error will be finite. Is this fundamental understood? Error is one by three. कुछ एक फिगर आएगा दो पांच दस पंद्रह बीस तीस कुछ एक फिगर आएगा. Because now I am giving unit step input to a type zero system. But the same type zero system, if I am giving you a, a ramp input, what you will find is the error will diverge, and you will be finding that error will become infinite. Third case, uh, if it's a type uh, zero system and I am giving a parabolic input, then also you will find that the error will diverge and error will become infinite. So, ये तीन चीज लिख के रखो. That is type zero system, unit step input, the error is converging and finite error. second case type zero system with uh, a ramp input uh, error is infinite and type zero system parabolic input the error is infinite ye tino jo samajh mein aaya yes sir correct huh? now i am going to uh, so now the same thing you have to do for type one system and type two system okay so that i can give you as a homework or you can do it by matlab coding so all those codes and all those things are also there uh, with me i can share it with you so you'll be finding bahut mazedar kisse aayenge okay if it is a type 1 system you will be finding for unit step the error will be zero that means input and output they will follow each other exactly type 1 system with step input type 1 system with ramp input you will be finding that error is going to be finite and type one system with parabolic input you will find that error will be diverging okay and type two system if it is type two system for first two that is step and ramp you will be finding that error will become zero and for type two system with uh, uh, parabolic input you will be finding that the error is uh, uh, this is uh, the error is a finite number okay so the whole table i will give you but before that let me discuss what is the second method so first method is little complicated second method is very easy that is uh, you have to just check what is the type of the uh, system so there can be only three types we are studying type 0 type 1 type 2 iska matlab ye nahi hai duniya mein yahi teen type hai type 3 type 4 type 5 type 6 all are there okay so type is decided by number of uh, open loop pole at origin okay so we are uh, for our syllabus we study only type 0 type 1 and type 2 and maximum systems fall in this three categories only 
here there is coming some new concept okay so there is coming the concept of kp what is the formula for kp positional error constant can you just read it from this notes kp is equal to limit s tends to zero gshs understandable what is the formula for kb velocity error constant limit s tends to zero sghshs correct so gs and hs will be given to you if hs is not given take hs equal to 1 what is gs forward path gain what is hs feedback gain feedback gain not given you can take feedback gain as well so you have to just find out what is the open loop transfer function gs into hs multiply that by s just a s okay and then put limit s tends to 0 what you are finding is actually the kv velocity error constant and lastly what you are finding is ka okay so a square into gshs so can you just see one thing if it is a type 2 system a square gshs so type 2 system is denominator may there will be a square is it understandable yes sir type 2 system there will be a a square at the denominator and this numerator a square and denominator a square will cancel each other samajh mein aa raha hai and type 1 system uh, type 1 system is denominator will be having a s and this numerator s and that denominator s will cancel each other okay so this is a very funny thing i will show you exactly what happens so if i give you gs and hs will you be able to calculate kp kb and ka yes or no yes sir theek hai tumko sirf s substitute karna hai s is equal to 0 you have to substitute first you have to multiply gs hs with with s and s square and after that you have to substitute Uh, limit s tends to zero. So I S O I. Sometimes it will come zero. Sometimes it will come infinity. Whatever it is. So how to calculate K P K V and K E? This is clear to you. Second thing, if the system is uh, getting an input which is called as uh, unit step input, in that case value of A is equal to one. अब ये समझ में आ रहा है for unit step input A is equal to one. If I say this is uh, input you know, step input with three volt. What is the value of a? In that case, the value of a is three. Is it understandable? So could you repeat that again? For unit step input, a is equal to one. Screen me, dekho pehle. What yes. is the step input given? A into U T. What is meant by a? Five volt DC. Five volt DC me a ka value kitna hai? Five. Abhi samajh me aa raha hai? Yes sir. Ten volt DC me a ka value hai ten. Unit step me a ka value hai one. Is it understandable? Yes sir. Correct. ramp what is meant by ramp ramp is nothing but a slope unit ramp means what that line is having slope of 1 in that case unit ramp means a is equal to 1 okay what is meant by a is equal to 1 that means one second change in the uh, input time uh, will uh, get one volt output So change in the input, change in the output, change in the input. So unit ramp is one second change in the input will cause a voltage change of one volt. So in two second out voltage is two volt, three second voltage is three volt, four second voltage is four volt. So it's a ramp with slope one. That is the input you are giving to the system, and you are asking uh, that find what is going to be the error. Ramp, do you understand? Unit ramp. Yes, sir. लाइन का इक्वेशन पता है वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी यस ओके सो सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स इफ आई से एम इज इक्वल टू टू मीन्स वॉट वन यूनिट चेंज इन एक्स एक्सेस विल कॉस्ट टू यूनिट चेंज इन वाई एक्सेस नाउ इन दिस केस फॉर ऑल दिस इनपुट एक्स एक्सेस इज टाइम ओके सो इफ आई से इट इज थ्री टी थ्री टी मीन्स वॉट इट इज थ्री इन टू यूनिट रैम दैट मीन्स वन सेकेंड चेंज विल कॉस्ट थ्री वोल्ट चेंज इन द आउटपुट Two second change will call six volt change. Three second change will call will cause nine volt change, and likewise it will go. Okay, so this is a into u, a into t into u t, a t u t. What is the actual uh, uh, graph? The actual graph is t, and a is nothing but slope of that, and u t. What is the u t deciding? U t is deciding the causality. That means this waveform is starting from t is equal to zero and going up to t tends to Infinity t is equal to zero. Ko pehle iska koi amplitude nahi hai. If I ask you what is the amplitude of this ramp a t u t at t is equal to minus one, the answer will be zero. And if u t agar nahi ra, if I give you ramp input only a t, when t is equal to minus one, this will be having amplitude as minus a t. 
at t is equal to minus 2 this amplitude will be minus 2 at t in that case in the third quadrant also you will be having a line okay but if i am saying at ut that means this ramp is starting from t is equal to 0 and going up to t is equal to infinity so this is the significance of this waveform understandable okay so if i am giving you a ramp okay so first you have calculated what is kp kb and ka kp formula is uh, limit distance to zero gshs kb formula is limit distance to zero sgshs and ka formula is limit distance to zero a square gshs abhi kp kb ka kab aayega when am i going to use it if i am saying that input is unit step to any system input to unit step to any system okay so for that system first you have to calculate uh, kp kv and ka okay so if i am saying that input is unit step in that case ess will be 1 by 1 plus kp what is the formula of kp sir uh, limit s tends to 0 gshs correct so tumko kya diya jayega you will be given only gs and hs even if I don't give you HS, you have to take HS equal to 1. So, GS will be a function like 1 by S plus 3, suppose. So, GS equal to 1 by S plus 3 and HS equal to 1. If you substitute S tends to 0, what will be the value of limit S tends to 0 GS HS? 1 by 3. Understandable. So, here you can substitute ESS of T is equal to 1. I say that I am inputting unit step input to the system. So one divided by one plus uh, one divided by one plus one by three. That is one divided by four by three. That is three by four. So ESST is equal to 0.75. So one may I? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'll give you only the value of GS and I'll give you HS equal to one. So GS equals equal to suppose one by S plus five. Can you tell me what will be steady state error? So one by S plus five uh, multiplied by one. So GSH is equal to one by S plus five. 1 by 5, very good. So in this case, I tell you that input is unit step. In unit step means in numerator ka a jo hai, that will be 1. Okay, and denominator will be 1 plus 1 by 5. That means it will be 5 by 6. How much is 5 by 6? How much is 5 by 6? So it is almost uh, 0.8 or something. 0.8. Okay, 0.8 or something. So steady state error means 0.8. Steady state error 0.8 means you have given 1 volt input. And steady state error is 0.8. That means how much is the output? Output gets steadied at 1 minus 0.8. That output gets steadied at 0.2. So, may I? Yes, sir. ESS is equal to 0.3. Input is 1. That means what is the amplitude of output? Point output seven. is nothing but 1 minus 0.3. That is 0.7. Now, may I? So, I can give you any value. Suppose if I'm giving you that, okay, I'm not giving you unit step. I'm giving a 5 volt input. And that means how much will be the steady state error? It will be 5 divided by 1 plus kp. Understandable? So generalized formula is A divided by 1 plus kp. What is A? A is nothing but the amplitude of the unit step. Amplitude of unit step is 5 volt agar input hai. 5 volt DC. That means A is 5. Unit step hai to A is equal to 1. 10 volt hai to A is equal to 10. So jaise jaise input badta raega, waise steady state error bhi badta raega. You can check here. Because numerator is A. So, 5 volt diya tumne and uh, it is 1 by 5. So, steady state error will increase. Understandable? Yes, sir. How to calculate? Now, KV. Okay, KV. Suppose I give you uh, GS equal to 1 by S into S plus 5. What will be the value of KV? GS equal to 1 by S into S plus 5. What will be the value of KV? H is equal to 1. Sir... Uh... 1 by 5, right? Yes, sir. Understandable. Sir, I have S add kiya denominator. Mein. So, I am giving you a type 1 system. So, type 1 system, ka, you can calculate for any system, you can calculate KV, KP and KV. So, I am just giving you another numerical. But I have given you a system that is type 1 system, um, 1 by S into S plus 5. Tell me what will be its uh, ramp error. Whenever giving ramp input to a first order system, uh, sorry, type 1 system, tell me how much will be the error. So what is the system? 1 by S into S plus 5. 1 by S into S plus 5. First, you have to find what is KV. So KV is nothing but 1 by 1 plus uh, 5, S plus 5, and then substitute S is equal to 0, so it will be 1 by 5, and that 
what is the formula of ess of t it is 1 by kv so kv is 1 by 5 so how much will be the steady state error 1 divided by 1 by 5 that means 5 unit so likewise uh, ka also you can find out ha uh, very important thing ye likh ke le lo just write it down if i am giving you parabolic input as uh, 9t square just likh ke le lo or 5t square just write down if i am giving you parabolic input as 5t square what you have to write is 10t square by 2 ye likh ke le lo if i am giving you that parabolic input is equal to 5t square you have to write it as 10t square by 2 and what will be the laplace transform it will be 10 by s cube so if i tell you 5t square 5t square should be written as 10 by 2t square so jo bhi parabolic input diya rahega usko double karke half likhna hai so if i give you 70 t square what will you write 14t square by 2 understandable Yes, sir. So if I give you five t square, what will you write? Ten t square by two. Okay, so five t square. The Laplace transform is what? It is ten by s cube. Ten by s cube. Yes, sir. Understand me, right? So if I am giving you a t square, or if I give you only t square, if I give you only t square, you have to write it as two t square by two. Okay, and t square by two. The Laplace transform is one by s cube. और टू जो पहले था वो टू रह जाएगा सो इफ आई गिव यू ओनली टी स्क्वायर इट विल बी हैविंग लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म एस टू बाय एस क्यू सो कैसे आता है ओनली टी स्क्वायर इज टू बाई टू टी स्क्वायर टी स्क्वायर बाई टू का लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म है वन बाई एस क्यू और न्यूमरेटर में टू था वो रह जाएगा सो एस सुन एज आई गिव यू एनी काइंड ऑफ ए बाई टू टी स्क्वायर वॉट विल बी दैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ए बाई एस क्यू एंड वॉट विल बी दी एस एस टी ए डिवाइडेड बाई के ए let us do the same numerical okay so this is the method 2 and exam mein pucha to yahi method karna any method you can do first method also you can do but uh, this is a very easy method is mistake hone ka chances kam hai for a given system gsh is equal to 2 by s plus 1 yaad aa raha hai kuch same numerical we have done how much was the steady state error for unit step input 1 by 3 okay so we had done all the uh, diagram and all those things error error ye wo es is equal to rs divided by 1 plus gshs from there we found es then we found et et we took as t is equal to infinity utna kuch yahan pe nahi karna hai very simply gshs is given and what is the input given input to the system is unit step that means a is equal to 1 what is the value of kp kp is limit uh, s tends to 0 2 by s plus 1 how much is that 2 understandable Yes, sir. Limit s tends to zero GSHS. Okay, so that means that is equal to two. And what is the error? A divided by one plus a t. If it is unit step, means a is equal to one. So one divided by one plus a p. That means one divided by one plus two is equal to one by three. So am I right? Yes, sir. Because that is the formula. So if formula thoda achche se gaur se dekhna, ye left side mein ye jo formula hai for step input. the esst that is the steady state error that means error t at time domain for ct whatever is the gs given wo gs or hs ko leke tum ek closed loop system banao uska jo output hai so from open loop gs we are trying to predict or we are finding out closed loop system ka output ka steady state error okay so that we are finding out so esst means uh, error at time tends to infinity that means difference between input and output of the closed loop system that we are trying to find out from open loop forward path and feedback gain so ye pura steady state ka funda wo hai ke from very small thing we are trying to find out a very big thing okay so what is the uh, for if the input is unit step or if the input is step a into ut steady state error is a by 1 plus kp for unit step a is equal to 1 if the input is ram a into t The steady state error is equal to a by k b, and if the input is a by 2 t square u t, in that case the steady state error is a by k a. So these three formula you have to remember. For step input it is a by 1 plus k p, for ramp input it is a by k v, and for parabolic input it is a by k a, where uh, the k p, k v, k a formula is given above, and you have already understood it. 
And the easiest thing, as soon as some system is given to you, GSHS, first thing you have to find out GS and HS, multiply them. First thing, what three inches find out? Curve. That is limit distance to zero GSHS KP. Limit distance to zero S GSHS. That is KV. Limit distance to zero S square GSHS. That is KA. उसके बाद देखो तुमको कौन सा इनपुट के लिए आउटपुट पूछ है ओके एरर पूछ है इफ दे आर आस्किंग फाइंड एरर फॉर रैंप इनपुट इन दैट केस व्हाट इज द फार्मूला ए डिवाइडेड बाय केवी ऑलरेडी यू हैव फाउंड आउट केपी केपी के ए जस्ट प्लग इन प्लग द वैल्यू ऑफ केवी देयर एंड ए वैल्यू इफ इट इज यूनिट रैंप के वैल्यू इज 1 सो 1 अपॉन केवी दैट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ एरर ओके सो वेरी इजीली the uh, error is calculated so first thing i have done the same thing so gshs is 2 by s plus 1 and input is actually unit step so ye dono cheez kv and ka ka zarurat hi nahi hai because when the input is unit step the error is given by a divided by 1 plus kv okay kv and ka are not required for uh, unit step input or for step input so ye dono just as a case maine dikhaya and if the input is unit step you can say only required uh, Thing only required parameter for that is KP because error is A divided by one plus KP. That is a steady state error for closed loop system output. So in that case, only KP if you find. Uh, so error is one divided by one plus KP. That is one divided by one plus two. That is equal to one divided by three. One chance में तुम्हारा हो गया. Second thing, uh, the same uh, numerical. Uh, I have given an example. Let's take a type one system. Is it a type one system? You can say two divided by s into s plus one. Yes, sir. Understandable. So, what is the value of KP? Limit distance to zero GSHS. Okay. So s is there at the denominator. So if you substitute s is equal to zero, so KP becomes infinite. Okay. What? How to find out the value of KV? S into GSHS. Limit distance to zero. S is cancel. Then you are finding KP KV. KV is equal to two, and K is equal to s square. नीचे का एक कैंसिल होता है बट इज न्यूमरेटर देयर इज अनदर एस सो के ए यू विल फाइंड अ जीरो नाउ व्हाट इज आस्क्ड आस्क्ड इज यू आर गिवन विद अ फर्स्ट टाइप फर्स्ट सिस्टम दैट इज 2 बाय एस इन टू एस प्लस 1 एंड यू हैव फाउंड आउट केपी केवी के ए एंड यू आर सपोज्ड टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द रैंप एरर सो फॉर द टाइप 1 सिस्टम और फॉर एनी सिस्टम इफ द रैंप इज द इनपुट द ESST इज गिवन बाय ए डिवाइडेड बाय केवी In this case, you are finding that KV is only finite, KP is infinite, and KA is zero. Okay, so how much will be the uh, uh, steady state error for uh, ramp input? It is given by A divided by KV. So A is equal to one because it is unit ramp. So in this case, it is one by two. Your two can't say I. This two is nothing but the KV. So one by two means it is point five. ओके बट ये कैसे दिखता है वो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग चीज है बिकॉज रैंप इज इंक्रीजिंग लाइक दिस ओके एंड द स्टडी स्टेट एरर इज फाइनल सो व्हाट यू विल फाइंड इज आउटपुट आल्सो विल इंक्रीज लाइक दिस एंड दे विल गो पैरेलल टू लाइंस विल गो पैरेलल एंड डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देम इज एग्जैक्टली मेंटेनड एज 0.5 तो ये जो रिस्पांस है पूरा ऑल दिस रिस्पांस एंड ग्राफ आई विल अपलोड टुडे इटसेल्फ बिकॉज दैट इज अ ग्राफ इज जनरेटेड बाय यूजिंग मैटलैब तो मैं अपलोड करता हूं वो तुमको समझ में आ जाएगा otherwise it is very difficult to understand whenever the system is uh, having a uh, unit to ramp input and then also the error is finite so output also will increase uh, like this straight line input is also parallel like this at any at any instant t if you are checking the distance between input and output this will remain as 0.5 okay ye jab tak nahi dekhoge tab tak samjhega nahi so i will upload and just check Lastly, I give you a type two system. So, is it a type two system? In a doubt, two divided by s square into s plus one. Yes, sir. It is a type two system. It's a type two system. So, for type two system, you will be finding that if you are giving, if you are trying to find out k a, this will be a finite thing. For so type two system, whenever you are trying to find k p and k b, you will be finding they are uh, infinite because there is coming a s. Uh, a, uh, there is a s square at the denominator. Because it's a type two system, and whenever it is KP and KV, uh, denominator may O S jo hai wo rahe jayega, and as that S is remaining there, what you will be finding is uh, it will be infinite. Okay, so KP and KV will be infinite, and uh, KA will be finite, and uh, whenever I am saying it's a, a parabolic input, and how much is the steady state error? It is A by KA. So now is KA is equal to two, so A is equal to uh, half. so half divided by uh, sorry 
uh, one divided by two because input is a a t square by two that is equal to t square by two. Uh, this is a very important thing that is input is t square by two that is called as unit term. Unit para sorry unit parabolic. Unit parabolic is not called as t square. Unit parabolic is given by t square by two. That means half into t square. What is the Laplace transform? Laplace transform is one by s q. Okay, so in that case, uh, e s s t is for parabolic input is one divided by two because one divided by k a. Okay, one divided by k a is point five. So conclusion: type two system has zero step error, zero ramp error, and finite parabolic error. Why zero step error? Because uh, k p is infinite. Okay, that means one divided by one plus k p. That is one divided by one plus infinite. That is equal to zero. What is k v? K v is infinite. So this is type two system. What is the ramp error? Ramp error is given by one by k v, one by infinite. That is equal to zero. So type two system has zero step error and zero ramp error and finite parabolic error. ये समझ में आया कैसे आ रहा है? Yes sir, all clear sir. Correct. तो ये बहुत सिंपल चीज है सो दिस इज द सेकंड मेथड फॉर फाइंडिंग द सिस्टम एरर अभी आई विल जस्ट ट्राई एक मिनट हां मैं आई विल जस्ट ट्राई गिव मी सम टाइम 1 मिनट और सो जस्ट ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट दैट लैब आउटपुट एंड सब आउटपुट तुमको एक साथ दिखा देता हूं जस्ट गिव मी सम 2 मिनट्स टाइम Vinay, you are there, right? Yes, so I have got this document. I have opened it. Just let me share. So this is the thing actually I had given to my students. Uh, I think it is visible, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is what we had done as steady state error, uh, absolute error finding, and also code and all these things are given to you. And uh, uh, you could. Okay, so this. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. 
Okay, so this is a type zero system uh, responses. This is how it looks like. Uh, when are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay, so there was a small accident. I almost fell. Uh, fine. So is it visible? So this is a step input. This is a type zero system. And uh, type zero system, uh, the blue one is uh, the input, okay, and the red one is the response. So, is it understandable that type zero system gives us a finite steady state error because distance between the red and blue is finite? It's understandable. Yes, sir. Okay, so red is the response. It is increasing. So, this is the transient part. You can see my cursor moving. Yes, sir. Okay, so it is increasing, and then it is steady state. So this distance is finite, as we have found. It is uh, two by s plus one that system. So this is that distance one by three. Okay. Now the same system with ramp input. What you will find the red and blue they are called as diverging. Is it understandable? Yes, sir. So as time is increasing, the distance between the red and blue they are Keep on increasing. So this is for all for type zero system, and third one is also a parabolic response, and you are finding that the distance between red and blue they are increasing. So for a type zero system, uh, for step input, the steady state error is uh, constant, uh, that is finite, and uh, for uh, ramp input and for parabolic input, the steady state error is diverging. This is the first case. Next, we are going to see for type one system. So I'll just show you two more graphs, and that will be all. So all these codes and everything is there. We can change the system, and we can check it. So I'm sorry that uh, response thoda light ho gaya. So can you see the green color? Yes, sir. Okay. So is it understandable that the top graph uh, error is zero? Steady so state error is zero. Yes, sir. Because uh, input is one. And response is that is the green graph is the response that is also touching the input. So for the top graph, that is uh, step input to a type one system produces uh, steady state error is equal to zero. Second one, okay. Here you are finding. So just now I told you that you are giving a ramp input input uh, to a type one system, and what you are finding is the distance is constant. Both are increasing. Both are increasing, but at any time at t is equal to six. And if you are doing it in MATLAB, you can take your cursor to this blue at six and to green at six. You will be finding the distance is same. Okay, and you can take the same at five hundred, or you can take the same as eight. So everywhere you will be finding at any time instant, the distance between input and output is same. So this is the response of type one system with uh, uh, ramp input. But type zero with ramp input, what was that previous graph? Type zero with ramp input. What was that? So, अभी समझ में आ रहा है what is meant by diverging and what is meant by constant and what is meant by converging. There are three things. So here the blue and red they are diverging. So and distance between blue and red is called as error. That means error is going to be infinity. So only I have shown output up to t is equal to ten. Now you have to imagine what happens at t is equal to infinity. So at infinity this red and blue will be so big. That means the error is equal to infinite. But whenever the input is uh, ramp input, at that time you will be finding that the distance is not widening up, widening up. It is uh, staying constant. But uh, the uh, type one system with uh, parabolic input, converging, diverging, or constant. क्या क्या लग रहा है? Sir, little bit diverging. Little bit diverging because uh, we are at t is equal to ten. As t keeps on increasing, you will be finding that वो दोनों और 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 बढ़ता जाएगा. That means here also the distance will keep on increasing as t increases. That means it will be also giving you error as infinite. Have you समझ में आ रहा? So this is the best examples. First one is converging uh, between input and output. So input and output both are converging. Second case, input and output they are like parallel line, rail line. So there is a constant error though the input is uh, The ramp, but the error is constant. And last case, the input and output they are diverging. Last diagram that is a type two system. So this was for type one. 
टाइप टू सिस्टम विल बी फाइंडिंग दैट सो दिस इज ये हमको बहुत टाइम लगा इतना इजीली आया नहीं ये ग्राफ एंड ऑल ओके सो दिस इज अ टाइप वन टाइप टू सिस्टम विथ रैम्प इन सॉरी यूनिट स्टेप इनपुट बट यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड दिस आउटपुट इज ऑसिलेटिंग बिकॉज दिस इज बिकमिंग अंड ऑफ अ कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज अ डैम्पिंग हियर अन डैम्प अंडर डैम्प ओवर डैम्प क्रिटिकल डैम्प वेरिएशन अराउंड द इनपुट but at steady state you are finding that the variation is subsiding with respect to time and ye sab graph uh, code se aata hai okay hum log kuch apne hisab se generate nahi kiye so all codes are there just keep on changing the some of the factors and all and you'll be able to find so what is the steady state error steady state error is zero so this is a type 2 system and uh, this is a, a unit step input and you are finding that the input and output they are converging second case type 2 system and i am giving a ramp input with it okay ye thoda close mein left side thoda close dikha hai right side thoda zyada uh, time mein dikha hai left side is in 20 seconds right side is with 50 seconds but can you see the undulation around the ramp input samajh mein aa raha hai okay so the blue one is the uh, output and red one is the input so you are finding that the blue line is oscillating around the red line because blue line is trying to catch up and eventually it has caught up so you are finding that almost at 35 40 seconds the blue line and red line they have got merged they have got merged means blue line is the output red line is the input so they have got merged means uh, steady state error is equal to zero samajh mein aa raha hai yes sir this is type 2 system with uh, a ramp input okay and the last one is type 2 system with uh parabolic input okay so what you are finding is in this case uh, you just find out there is a scenario so in between somewhere here uh, these two diagrams are same in between somewhere here there is a merging but after that okay ye jo part hai starting from around uh, 13 seconds and up to 20 seconds and towards infinity you are finding it like this so 15 seconds to 20 seconds i have shown you are finding both are parabolic both are increasing but distance between them is constant they are not divergent abhi samajh mein aa raha hai what is meant by a type 2 system with a uh, parabolic input so ab ye dekho initial part there is a some kind of mismatch okay but after that uh, after this uh, 13 seconds or so you are finding that input and output they are perfectly parallel with respect to each other so that's why a uh, distance between input and output is constant that's why a type 2 system with parabolic input they are going to show some kind of कॉन्स्टेंट लाइन अभी ये टेबल जो है दिस टेबल यू हैव टू रिमेंबर टाइप जीरो सिस्टम स्टेप इनपुट वी आर फाइंडिंग के पी ओके सो दिस एर इज फाइनाइट के पी ए डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस के पी सो हियर इट इज काइंड ऑफ अ फाइनाइट सो के पी इज अ फाइनाइट वैल्यू एर एर विल बी ए बाई वन प्लस के पी टाइप वन सिस्टम विथ रैम्प इनपुट विल बी फाइंडिंग के वी विल बी फाइनाइट सो ए बाई के वी ऑल्सो विल बी फाइनाइट So if you are seeing type one system with step input, uh, you'll be finding that uh, KP will be infinite uh, and error will be zero. Okay, this KV and this KA, K will be zero and error is. So this is a table that you have to remember. So type zero system with uh, step input, we are going to get finite error. Type one system with ramp input, we are going to get finite error. type 2 system with parabolic input we are going to get finite error your diagonal jo hai your diagonal tumko yaad rakhna hai so this uh, also i will upload and previous whatever document uh, i have talked about today that also i will upload so this two documents you just do for any kind of error for any kind of uh, doubts you can ask me so i am declaring uh, this third topic from module 2 sorry module 3 that is the steady state error calculation this topic i am declaring if you have any doubt you can ask me or you can message me